all right guys welcome to another video today what we want to talk about is something that's called qualitative data so we could see different ex coffee experiences in a column of uh, data where we rate our coffee experience we call it excellent normal and bad so we can see three classifications of our coffee experience and this is different to what we had uh, and what we have seen uh, so far in previous videos right so we've had quantitative data before we said you'd look at number of cups of coffee over seven days and you could actually see an average value for that 1.7 cups of coffee on average for the past seven days but the question is when we have qualitative data here that marks our coffee experience for example could we find an average coffee experience what would that be yes we could count that there could be how many excellent coffee experiences are there how many bad and how many normal there are and then we could find some sort of a distribution or percentage of that and that is one way to represent qualitative data but what we're trying to answer or figure out today is if we can find an average a mean coffee experience out of this qualitative data and one of the ways to do it uh, is to is to give a code, a numeric value to the qualitative data. And that could serve as a transformation from this qualitative to the quantitative data. And then we could use that quantitative data to find out our means, right? So that is uh, one way to go about it. So let's have a look at, uh, let's have a look at this, if we could do something of the sort. So let's make a, column for experience let's give a coding to it let's just say excellent is uh, three normal is uh, two and then bad is one so let's just uh, set this scheme up and then uh, and then why not redo our data and if I could make another column here yes and call uh, uh, and in fact uh, let me just uh, simply say for excellent let me just define another column call it and give an associated code to it just for the uh, and i'll have this side by side it's the same data right so excellent is three normal is two excellent three excellent three normal two bad one one excellent three bad one bad one bad one and normal two right so this is this is how we could we could assign this data and when we have a and, and in fact since we've selected this we could actually see an average of 1.9 right so uh, and 1.9 seems to be closer to two than it is to one and 1.9 could could mean our average coffee experience has been uh, pretty much normal right uh, and this is something we couldn't really figure out by having a quick look at this, right? Because uh, excellent seems to stand out, bad seems to stand out. There, there are a few normals there too, right? But a numeric value that translates this qualitative information into something more useful, and this way we could we could find an average value. Uh, but what but to do this manually is not is not very uh, let's just say handy, right? So is there a way if we could generalize this? Uh, well, there are many ways to do it, but one of them is to use the if formula, right? And if I go ahead and uh, type in the formula here, uh, I will type it in the formula bar, but this is also visible in the cell. And in fact, I will make this cell a bit bigger just so we could visualize the entire thing. So let's just let's just remove this value and see if we can um, generalize this with the formula, right? So we could go ahead with an if condition. So uh, and and right away we see the first entry that we need is a logical test. So um, th the way this works is if uh, and this is very uh, intuitive uh, as it is. So if this particular cell equals, let's say excellent then the value that we are looking at for this particular code for this particular cell is three right and 
the false condition is if it's not excellent then just give it um, and just say error okay and then we'll close the bracket so the way to interpret this is if u5 is excellent and give the code 3 in this cell otherwise just put error okay uh, so that is the way to just generalize this but and, and then we could always just drag from the corner and uh, drag it all the way down. Well, we see that we've got our excellence uh, correct here, here, and here. But whatever was not excellent turned out to be an error, right? And that's not something we want. We want a code for every uh, experience uh, con classification, right? Uh, well, how do we go about it? Do we do it for uh, all three of them? Well, it turns out there's a way we could do it uh, by by using one single command, right? One single formula. And, and that is, whenever we get an error, right? And it is this specific part. It is this specific part for error, uh, which is something what we did not want for normal, right? So how do we handle this particular case? Turns out what we can do is, uh, instead of error, we could just simply use another if statement in that okay so i've got an if statement in here if it's not excellent then this was the false condition for my first if right so if it's not excellent then what is it uh then maybe check if this cell is normal and if it is normal then the true value that I would want, and I'm looking at the formula bar, is 2. Otherwise, just say there's an error, okay? And then that closes uh, my formula bar, uh, my formula right there. Okay, so now I have, if I look at the formula bar, I have X and normal set up. But let me just drag this all the way down for all the cells. And when I do that, I see that my normal sets in pretty nicely, okay? These three values for normal, here, here, and here. But I have an error for bad, and that makes sense because if you look at the formula bar, it's neither excellent, neither normal, it's bad. So that is why it goes into the error statement, uh, in, into the error case. So why not just uh, fix that in two, right? So let's handle it right here just as we did before I'm gonna give some space bars I'm looking at the formula bar and I'm just gonna use the false case to put in another if statement there right let's give a few uh, space bars to differentiate the parentheses and the closing brackets and and this is my if statement for the false case when it's neither excellent nor normal then it is something else right and this is uh, the only classification left is bad okay so if and i'm going to choose the cell again if u5 is in fact bad then assign one or assign error right so that's uh the same format again i'm going to hit enter and this time i am going to drag this one more time to all the cells because this is my final formula and once I do that I get my error coding is absolutely spot on three for excellent two for normal and one for bad so in this way when uh, and I'm just gonna paste this uh, formula here in this um, bar just to show what it is uh, the font seems to be better here yeah so this lets me uh, basically, and in fact, if I wanted, if I wanted, this lets me uh, provide the codings for each uh, experience. But essentially, it is an if statement within an if statement that is nested within another if statement, right? So we go deep three layers down, but essentially we look if u5 is an excellent experience. If yes, it is, put in three. If it's not excellent, then look for another um, if statement, which says if u5 is normal, assign two. If it's not normal, then see if u5 is bad. 
And if U5 cell is bad, assign 1. If it's not that either, just assign an error, right? So essentially that is what it is. It's a nested if statement. But this is one way we could uh, simplify our working and provide code to our qualitative, coding to our qualitative data. And then this is something we could always use to find out average and bring some more uh, quantitative interpretation, quantitative analysis 